Carlos Modes, a European commissioner for research, science and innovation, demanded someone has to pay as he claimed Brexit is simply a lose-lose situation. Speaking on Euro News Global Conversation, Mr. Modes said, I think nobody wins with Brexit. I think we don't win. The UK doesn't. I mean, I think it's just a lose-lose for everyone. We just have to take the emotions out of it and try to do the best we can. Getty, Euro News Brexit News, Carlos Modes claimed nobody wins at Brexit. I think nobody wins with Brexit. I think we don't win. The UK doesn't. Carlos Modes, the EU chief, said European researchers across the continent have to continue to get along after Brexit. Mr. Modes said, I can't guarantee. But I can guarantee that actually stronger than politics is people. And when you got to the UK university or you go to other universities in the continent and you see that the researchers today really have no borders. He added, that is something that politics cannot break. Question is that, who is going to pay for it? I would love to be part of getting to a solution in terms of a way of getting the UK and the European Union together in a science program. The European Union's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier told EU27 minister in May that no significant progress has been made on Brexit. Mr Barnier also warned there was a risk of failure on the Irish border issue and how the agreement will be governed. He said he believed the UK was a country preparing to join the Brussels political project instead of leaving it. He told the audience, sometimes when I read some UK papers, I would just take an example of, not the external security or defense, but the internal security, it seems reading this paper that we have a country who have just begun the process of accession. It cannot be business as usual. The British paper on internal security, they ask for many opt-ins they've never asked for in the past before leaving. Mr Barnier also claimed little progress had been made on the Brexit negotiations. He added, there remains two rounds of negotiations between now and June, no one must underestimate the rendezvous of June. I have said, and often said, the clock is ticking. Remember, the date of the withdrawal was drawn up by the UK itself, sending this letter in March last year, the UK government has chosen the date of withdrawal in March 2019. In response, Prime Minister Theresa May is expected to present a proposal to EU leaders which would outline a way to break the deadlock over the Irish border issue. The plan is reported to involve keeping the UK aligned with customs tariff rates sent in Brussels. The move would only be a backstop proposal if other methods to avoid a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland failed or were not prepared by January 1, 2021, after the implementation period expires. Ms May has already called out the existing fallback option, which would keep Northern Ireland closely aligned to EU rules, as being unacceptable, because it would create a border in the Irish Sea with the rest of the UK.